this is LJ Go Sweden. Today it's time for my trip to Germany. I'm currently at the charger in, uh, what is this town called, sorry? Uh, what is it? Wait, Söderham. So I have already skipped one charging session. I was, the first charger was in Sundsvall, which was a V4 charger, the first time that I have seen them. And I stopped there, I really had to pee and I wanted to grab something from the grocery store there. So it was really convenient because I was just at the grocery store to get some bread, some apples and also some candy for my family and friends. And then I came back to the car and it was already like over 70% and I came there with like 20. So it charged 50%, I don't know, like in less than 30 minutes, which was really good. And now here, yeah, I stopped here actually only to get a few percent because I wanted to go to Arboga, to the supercharger there on one trip, but the car complained the whole time. And then I also had to pee, so I just stopped here for now. And now I also want to continue because I don't want to lose too much time. But I just wanted to make this video right here now that I'm not losing too much content on the road to the south. But I will talk to you later in yeah three hours right now. It's 12 p.m. I started at 8 a.m. And I will be in Arboga at 15 past three. So we will see how far I can make it. Three hours later, I have arrived at the next supercharger now in Arbo. I forgot the name already. I was having a great time listening to some podcasts. The road I was taking was most of the time pretty nice. It was not like a well-structured autobahn, how I would say in Germany. It was most of the time like 80, 90 kilometers per hour speed limit, which is chilling in my opinion. Especially in the beginning, the road was really, really empty. So no one was there. Later, however, then it filled up again, close to Westeros. The road was pretty filled. And then unfortunately there was also a part of the road where you had like construction that was very annoying. And also that is most of the time the thing where the autopilot just fails immediately because two things that I have noticed so far with the autopilot is if you don't have any lane markings and then you have a huge car like a truck or a pick, maybe even a pickup would already be enough. The car gets scared and gives you like phantom braking. When you have roads where you have like the lane markings, you still sometimes have the case that when you have a big truck, like a semi truck, the car will be scared. So if you are using the autopilot, what I'm doing like 99% of the time, I always already know when could be a moment where the car is being weird. So I always know the moments where I should be like on the gas pedal to increase the speed if the car is like trying to slow down, which could be dangerous because if you have cars behind you, of course you don't want to slow down when there are cars behind you. As you can see, it is cloudy now, unfortunately. The weather was pretty good like till Jävle and then when I had to turn inland, it turned out to be worse and worse. And now, well, we have clouds, it's still, I don't know, 22, 23 degrees. So it's still good temperature, but I'm not sure if it's going to rain. So I will now check in the car, what's the next charger? And then also, yeah, where we will end up today, because I can make one more. I think I have already looked, it's like 6 p.m. something that I can use a charger. Then I will fill up the car so that I'm ready for the night and just continue driving maybe another yeah hour so that's like 8 p.m 9 ish and then i will hopefully have a sleeping spot that i can sleep the night and then tomorrow continue i still don't know how long it would take now but we will see later it's raining and i don't like it because it means i have to go camping when it's raining why <laughs> but there are the charges back there i'm now going to mcdonald's and then we will see how far I make it today. I definitely plan to go further than Lin Schöping. I think it's Lin Schöping or is it Jön Schöping? I always mess up the Schöping to be honest, but I have to pee and everything. It's not the best weather. It really makes camping a shitty experience. I'm honest. Okay guys, as you can see, the campfire is on. The camp mode is activated. I am laying in the car. I have found the camp spot, it is already after 10 p.m. Well, what happened? 
Last time you saw me was when I was walking through the rain to the McDonald's and so I was planning to eat something there and then I was not really sure if I'm going to stay there longer, how I'm going to make it like finding a camp spot and well I like realized okay it makes more sense to just go after the food back to the car, look for a camping spot. And then I also had luck that I was in a phone conversation with a friend, so I was basically continuing to drive to another supercharger. There I was charging the car for the first time to 100%. Last time when I was trying to charge it to 100%, I skipped the calibration because it just takes way too long. But now because I was talking on the phone, I had a good camp spot already found. I was basically deciding, yeah, okay, let's just wait until the calibration is finished. And then I continued driving here and it was the first try that I found this camp spot. I have now also talked to my dad because he was curious how it's going to go tomorrow if I make it and all those things. And now I have prepared everything. I will talk to you in the morning what my setup looks like and maybe tomorrow there's more chance of taking you with me because today with the camera that I'm filming right now, well, I forgot my SD card somewhere in my in my bag and I was just too lazy to grab it and every time I had my phone with me so that's why I took only the phone for short videos but now let's see how long I'm going to sleep my prediction is that it's not going to be later than 5 6 a.m. so that's a good time to then finish hopefully tomorrow the whole drive the rest of the drive but now we will see so I will talk to you tomorrow